Oh, hey, it's actually a prospect watch video. Who'd have thunk it? And it's a big one, guys, because my current favorite MMA prospect, Adrian Yanez, aka Mini Masvidal, went to battle with fellow young gun Randy Costa last week, and it was a banger. It was the kind of fight which, you know, beyond irreparable brain damage, resulted in no damage to either competitor. Randy Costa looked brilliant, Adrian Yanez showed off his ability to adjust in the midst of battle, and the fans won because it was entertaining as all hell. Let's break it down. The first round was a technical masterclass from Costa, which should probably surprise you given the wild and unorthodox nature of his previous contests. Go back to his UFC debut against Brandon Davis and you'll find a fighter with a lot of promise, but also an awkward stance and a lack of defensive poise in the middle of exchanges. The same cannot be said of this fight. Immediately, Costa's signature head kicks were set up better than ever with some convincing lead hand feints. Here, Costa lands the inside leg kick, feints the rear hip, draws out the counter from Yanez with his lead hook, and then goes up top with his rear leg high kick. Given Yanez's propensity for lightning fast counters, Costa punishing the counter entry early was a good sign. The real success for Costa came in the form of the jab, and this was a product of his calculated pressure. Yanez is ridiculously dangerous when he's able to dictate pace and range, as he did in the Gustavo Lopez fight. Now in that contest, he determined the range using his front and rear leg push kicks, contained Lopez to the fence using his cage cutting ability, and then with Lopez feeling the pressure, countered the reaching overhands and right hooks that his opponent threw out. Now it's a lot harder to do all that when you're the one on the back foot. See here, after Costa has established the jab, he throws it out repeatedly before showing the feint, drawing out Yanez's uncertain counter attempts. And then he goes to the leg just to mix things up and keep his opponent guessing. When a counter striker like Yanez can't find his overhand right over your jab, you're doing something right. What about the defense though? No overreactions or overcorrections, just thoughtful head movement and footwork. Watch as Costa assuredly ducks under the lead left hook and catches the straight right on the shoulder. Even when Yanez started pressuring and finding his shots at the end of the first, Costa remained calm and avoided a lot of those devastating left hooks and counter rights. He had faith in his distance control and his length, and that kept him in Yanez's face, even when Adrian was throwing volume. Also, I've just, I've just got to highlight this question mark kick. I mean, Luke Rockhold would be proud of that shit. That's a good question mark kick. But as we just alluded to, the entire fight wasn't just Costa pushing Yanez to the fence. Yanez bit back. At the conclusion of the first round, Yanez started to find his mark more consistently, spurred on by the success he was finding with his oblique kick. By prodding at Costa's lead leg, he took away the base necessary to consistently throw out that jab. In the second round, Yanez came out with a tight guard, throwing oblique kicks and jabs of his own. His feints became more numerous, and he punished Costa's entries with low kicks instead of reaching for hooks. Even as Costa was still finding success, Yanez kept in his opponent's face, looking to roll strikes off the arms and shoulders. Non-committal combinations forced Costa to remain defensive, and when Costa tried to pivot and circle away, Yanez cut the cage quickly. Yanez started shoulder rolling and leaning deep to his right, and this kept Costa's right hand far away from his chin. With his own jab starting to land, his pressure working, his oblique and signature push kicks doing magic, and his defense in better check, Yanez pressed Costa to the cage and unloaded, and a left hook to the body, followed by an uppercut that split the guard, led to Costa dropping, and Yanez secured the TKO with some incredibly accurate follow-up strikes. Yes, Costa's gas tank couldn't seem to hold up to the pressure, and yes, Yanez couldn't find his timing in the first, but those are peripheral issues. I mean, we're talking about two fighters who, prior to this matchup, had collectively only had five UFC contests. They are clearly in the infancy of their careers, and the promise that they both showcased in this matchup far outweighs any weaknesses that were demonstrated. This feels like a Conor McGregor versus Max Holloway kind of fight, where these two competitors could both very well go on to exceptional things in the division. So yeah, I know that Yanez was disappointed in his work from the first round, as the post-fight interview indicated, and Costa has to be disappointed that he couldn't finish the job, but from a technical standpoint, I hope they can see the value that this fight provided. Two incredible prospects trading blows and strategic adjustments in a tightly contested war. Keep them on your radar, because they're well worth following. 
Thanks for watching guys. If you have any suggestions for future videos, put them in the comments below and I might very well give it a swing. Who knows? Thank you.